Hey guys, so yeah, I'm kind of just in the mood to make videos. I just finished filming um, my book review video, 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 but now I'm going to give you guys some tips for reading on a budget because I, so I really, really enjoy watching like booktubers or whatever you want to call them. And I love seeing people like go into Barnes and Noble and buy like a bunch of books or do, if you guys have seen there's like challenges where like your, your boyfriend buys, or I saw one where like the guy gave his girlfriend like 30 seconds to um, buy like whatever books she wanted from Barnes and Noble, as many as she could carry. I love seeing all that stuff. However, you know, Barnes and Noble, it's, I don't want to say it's expensive because I have nothing to compare it to. But for instance, when I went to Barnes and Noble, I believe I bought two books and it already measured up to like 50 something dollars, like $52. So if you know you have a budget, I wanted to give you guys some tips for reading on a budget, on a budget, sorry. Um, yeah, so my first one is the good old fashioned library. So you can always just go to your local library and borrow books. That's what I used to do as a kid. Um, if you're like me and you just really, really like buying books because I really, I, I want to have the book. Like I don't just want to borrow it especially because of the deadline and then sometimes you can forget that you you know have that deadline you might have to pay like a fee or something I'd rather just like have the book and then give it away when I'm ready to so I don't know if it's like this for all libraries but it's possible that it is um your library has like a bookstore and I believe the books are they're gonna be like cheap so you can always go to the bookstore at your local library if you just really want to buy the books like me or you can just borrow it. The second one is this app. It's called Hoopla. H-O-O-P-L-A. My friend introduced it to me like some years ago. And basically if you, you can use it if you have a library card. So it just gives you like access to, I guess like the same books that you would see in the library but you can listen to like audiobooks and then you can read like an ebook from there so that's what i use as well and actually i'm probably going to use that in the future like while i'm filming and stuff and just in general because i went to barnes and noble recently and i just like took a picture of all of the books that i really wanted and then I checked to see if it was on Hoopla and there were quite a few that were so I might just like listen to the audio version of that. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Um, I also am reading an ebook from Hoopla right now. So that's nice but you know sometimes you don't want to look at the screen. But that's an option. And then the third option is the Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree you know wherever you live there's usually like a little section for books. Now, I don't know if you're going to find something great there, but you know, you can still look and it's it's just a lot, you know, cheaper and you can find something that you really like. The fourth option is Amazon. So your books are going to be cheaper when you go on to Amazon. They usually have like a lot of stuff that's cheaper. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward. You can buy your stuff there. And then the fifth one is you can do a book trade off with your friends. So if your friends are also, you know, book readers or, you know, if they just have some books that they're willing to give away, I have, I have a lot of books on my bookshelf that were given to me that I did not buy, but it would be cool, you know, to do like a little trade off so you can let, you know, your friend borrow a book that you really like and then your friend will give you, you know, another book. So you're, you're being introduced to new books, but you don't have to buy it. And then, you know, you can give it back or depends on what you guys want to do, right? And then the last one is, um, I don't actually know what it's called, but... If you like take a walk around your neighborhood, you might find like in front of someone's house, they have a little like, I, I don't know what it looks like. I mean, I know, what, <laughs> I know what it looks like. I don't know how to describe it. It's not a mailbox, but it's like a little neighborhood library. So 
like the one that I have seen for instance it looks like a little little house but there's like a bunch of books in there and you can just like you can take a book if you want one and you can also put a book in if you want one so that's actually how I got one of the books that I'll probably talk about in like a later video um that was like was that the first book that I read for the year? It, it might have been the first book that I read for the year, but that's how I got it. I found it um, at this little neighborhood library, and I've also put books in there. So, yeah, it's really cool, and those are my tips. Hope it helps if you guys are interested in reading. I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm just, like, very excited. I don't know why. I just enjoy challenging myself to do this thing. But those are my tips and hopefully that helps you to read on a budget.